Hello everyone, this is the Nerdy Druid and I'm back. So um, I know it's been like nine months since I've done a video. I've just been really super busy and all that stuff. Um, so next month I'm going to Pagan Pride 2023. My brother's coming with me because I'm going to be having a couple hundred dollars on me and my brother is not comfortable with me having that much money on me and I don't blame him. So he is going to be requesting um, the ninth off uh, so that he can go with me to Pagan Pride. Um, I am going to be, uh, the reason I'm going to have a couple hundred dollars on me is for two reasons. One, I'm not tempted to dip into my debit card. And two, I, um, some of the vendors do not take cards. And uh, when you have not been to an event like that, you don't really, you would just as automatically assume everybody takes debit cards, but then be like, no, I don't. Um, so you have to understand that some vendors will take debit, a lot of vendors will take debit cards, but some won't. And I had to learn that lesson the hard way, and there was a lot of stuff I was not able to get that I really wanted, so that sucked. So, uh, we'll be doing a video of that and posting it on YouTube and also on Facebook. So it's the 9th, I'm going to the 2023, uh, Louisville Pagan Pride. I'm not going to be buying as much stuff as I did last year. I will be picking up a couple more stones. i definitely going to be picking up some more um, candles and definitely a lot, definitely some more incense. Um, and I'm going to try to find the uh, Barefoot Owl and thank them for their product. Uh, I made that, I said to myself last year, if they're there this year, I'm going to thank them for their product. And all that jazz. Um, so another thing, uh, my Celtic altar has been taken down mainly because it is been replaced with dolls. <laughs> um, I have my dolls on my dresser, not all of them, but most of them, and I am going to actually keep them there until October when I get my case, and then they're all going to be transferred over to the case where they will live a dust-free life for as long as the case is intact. So, once that happens, my altar will go back up. So, um, I checked my uh, things and my videos, and apparently I did this about Children of the Gods and racism in, um, I think it was in Paganism or Druidry, one of the two. Um, so, for people that may not know um my path is actually um celtic reconstructionism and i'm still gonna call myself the nerdy druid because i like the name um but for people that do not know what reconstructionism is or have not maybe have not watched a video that taught had me say what it is Reconstructionism is the attempt to reconstruct the religious practices of an ancient culture based on primary and secondary sources. Now this is different depending on what you are doing. So if you're practicing religions like Kemeticism or Heathenism, not Heathenism, Kemeticism and uh, Hellenism, you'll have a lot more sources. If you're practicing religions like uh, heathenism and Celtic polytheism, you're not going to really have a lot of those sources because these cultures did not write anything down. Everything was oral. Their histories, their mythologies, their gods. They, they were taught how to give sacrifice to human and animal and all that jazz. So they were taught this. They did not write this down. So I am, so my, uh, so my Celtic polytheism is more connected with Ireland, sorry, with Ireland than say intercontinental Celts. And these are the Celts that were Romanized. Um, and then of course you have Britain that was also Romanized, also known as Britannia that was Romanized. Um, Ireland was never Romanized as far as like fellow pagans going in there and doing their nonsense. So how do I practice um, Celtic paganism or Irish paganism or Irish reconstructionism without a big fancy altar? Quite simple. 
Um, I have a travel altar that's actually in my kitchen right now. And I will open it up and take everything out and set it up. It takes about five minutes to set it up. And I pour out libation of wine and I do offerings of incense. I do not offer anything to the gods that I don't know 100% sure was offered. For example, is I don't offer herbs. I don't offer stones. I don't offer any of that type of stuff. Um, what I offer the gods is time. Time, um, I will give them uh, food that I have uh, made or I have um, or I have bought. Um, I also honor my ancestors and I also honor the land spirits. And these are things that we know for certain um, was offered because if you're talking about priesthood, they're spending a lot of their time and that is stuff that, you know, they're offering, they're, they're doing, doing time instead of like going off and doing other things. And then of course, um, if you are unsure if offering food is something that was done, um, sometimes you kind of have to bend it a little bit and look at other cultures and look at what they did and kind of guess, oh yeah, that probably is something that they did. Because a lot of cultures, they have identical practices even if they don't write any of that stuff down. Uh, but yeah, time, my food, I give, um, I, I offer stuff to my ancestors, things like that, um, things I've said before. Um, so it is, um, it's important to, if you're practicing reconstructionism, especially if it's a culture that did not write anything down, um, sometimes taking a little bit of an educated guess is good. It's not... A lot of people might say, well, if you don't know that's exactly what they did, then don't guess. And it's not the same as giving a mugwort or giving um, a stone to Bridget. It's, you know, it's it's very different. Uh, it's, it's not the same. Um, and, um, yeah. So uh, that is what I do. And that is what I am. And I'm going to say one of the things I really do happen to like about Celtic paganism and Celtic polytheism is that we are really trying to keep the bigots out of the group by doing videos basically saying that you don't have to be of a particular cultural origin to practice this religion. You can be... Japanese and practice Celtic paganism. There is absolutely no um, requirement blood-wise blood for that. We're not heathens, we're not Kemetics, we're not Hellenists. Um, we don't, we are trying to keep that nonsense out and that is one of the biggest draws to this religion is the desire to keep that unsavory stuff out of the religion and just venerate our gods and venerate our ancestors and try to live the best life um, that we possibly can and take responsibility for our actions when we fuck up. So, um, yeah. So, I am going to um, end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed um, the video. I will do another one on... something. I got a headache right now. <laughs> I got to go and take something for it. So, um... Uh, yeah, I will see you guys around.